Hello again, it's uh, Joey John McGuire. Unfortunately, um, still suffering from my uh, man cold, uh, so therefore I'm closer to home in a wonderful pub called The Broadway, uh, which is in Fulham Broadway, that's uh, London, United Kingdom. I had to recite uh, my latest poem, which I wrote in the early hours of this morning. It's called Tail End Charlie. My dream was so vivid as to be lived and believed. Or was it a nightmare? I let you decide. It was the last chopper, limply hovering like a fragile dragonfly, silhouetted by the clearing. Chop, 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 it waited nervously, in a hurry, as it dipped its head, dallying precautiously on its last sauté. I was the reason for all the fuss. I could not be seen to be left behind. The first light of dawn had put me in camera shot, and I was running for my life. My mind, it was frantic with fear, chased by the rat-tat-tat of the ever-getting-closer machine gun, zips, zaps, and pings ringing in my ears. Too frightened to scream, my legs, lead heavy, made it feel like running up a steep mountain, and the desperate begging under my breath. The horror flashed before me, left to die at the hands of the mob, who were closing in, baying for my blood, certain of a kill. Stupid, stupid me, I turned to look away, just for a split second, and then they were gone, my comrades, all of them without warning, into the darkness of the night. No human being could ever imagine how my heart sank as the realisa realisation sunk in, and how quickly I was engulfed in blind panic and fear. Those there before me would know, as would the author of my dream, their eyes bearing reliable witness, but no other eyes could record, because no one follows a tail end Charlie other than the enemy. The dark, eerie silence of the death trap, and then pounce, the dead, the deed done, or the chase on, as was the case in my dream. I had evaded stealth. I had also missed the chopper. I watched as it rose and left me. Speechless, I was in dis disbelief. Chop, 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 and it was gone, leaving to me to my obvious fate. It was the last time my friends waved me goodbye. I remember they were smiling, which made me cry. And then, with an abrupt bang, 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 I was awake. Trembling, eyes wide in shock, skin soaked in cold, clammy sweat, I felt a presence. I was not alone in the room. An old acquaintance, Northern Ireland, was in there with me. 1974, and again in 1975, and ever since, on a regular basis, and always in vivid technicolor, like it was yesterday.